Hi, greetings, fellow tributes. <clears throat> well, our look at the Hunger Games franchise now continues on with the penultimate film in the series, The Hunger Games, Mocking Jay, Part 1. After being rescued from the destroyed arena in the 75th Hunger Games, tributes Candace Everdeen, Beatty, and Vinico Dare are taken to District 13, <clears throat> a below ground district isolated from Pan Am that has been spearheading the rebellion. Kenneth is reunited with her mother and sister Prim and is introduced to President Alma Coyne, the rebel leader. Kenneth is told that her arrow destroying the forest field led to riots in over half the districts, joining District 13 in the rebellion, which caused Snow to bomb District 12 in retaliation. Coyne asks her to become the Mockingjay, a symbol of the rebellion, as part of a hearts and minds strategy. Kenneth reluctantly agrees after seeing Peter being manipulated on state television to quell the rebellion. She visits her own District 12, her old house somehow untouched with white roses from President Snow inside. <clears throat> Kenneth meets her film team and, and is given every trinket as a stylist and close friend Gail as a bodyguard. They go to District 8 where Kenneth is filmed being saluted by dozens of wounded civilians at a hospital. Snow, seeing the footage, orders an airstrike at the hospital, killing everyone inside. The group films Katniss and Gail shooting down two capital hovercraft, and Kenneth's rage-filled threat, If we burn, you burn with us. Afterwards, loggers in District 7 revolt, shouting the same phrase of killing peacekeepers by detonating landmines. <clears throat> Kenneth and her team travel to District 12. Kenneth is filmed singing The Hanging Tree. Once the protesters in District 5, singing the same anthem, launch a suicidal human wave attack against a hydroelectric dam that is the capital's primary source of electricity. The attack successfully implodes and breaches the dam, <clears throat> causing a blackout that forces capital to revert to secondary generators. That night, Candace watches Peter being interviewed by Caesar Flickerman, the game's foreign presenter, when Coin and Beatty hijack the signal to air a clip of Katniss. After seeing it, Peter suddenly shouts a warning that the capital is about to, to attack District 13. Coin orders a massive evacuation into deep underground shelters, and the facility survives the attack. Upon emerging, Kenneth discovers the area littered with bright roses. She concludes that Snow orchestrated this to inform her that wherever she condemns the capital, they'll torture Pete in retaliation. <clears throat> Coin dispatches only special forces to rescue Pete, including remaining victors China Mason and Obaria and Annie Cresta from their prison. Beatty hijacks the capital's defense system with a propo narrated by Finnick to convince more districts to see, decide with the rebellion. When this proves not to be enough, Candace communicates directly with Snow as a further distraction to buy enough time. Gil's team rescues the victors and escapes the capital easily, indicating that the capital reduces security on purpose. When Candace greets Peta, young Spunk attacks and strangles her into unconsciousness before being knocked out by Boggs. Kenneth wakes up and is informed that Peter has been hijacked, brainwashed into trying to kill her, which explains the way the capital allowed them to escape with him. Peter is placed in solitary confinement, while serum is developed to reverse the hijacking effects. Quinn announces that the rebel's next objective is the capital's principal military stronghold in District 2, <clears throat> now, the only, now the only district remaining loyal to the capital. Hmm. <clears throat> So now let's look at the production of this film, beginning with the pre-production. On July 10th, 2012, Lansky announced that the third and final Solomon series, Mockingjay, will be split into two parts. Excuse me. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 was released on November 21st, 2014, and The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 was released on November 20th, 2015. Many directors, including Ryan Johnson, Francis Lawrence, and Alfonso Cuaron were considered for the job. On November 1st, 2012, Lawrence, director of Catching Fire, announced he will return to direct both final parts in the series. On December 6, 2012, Danny Strong announced that he will be writing the third and fourth films. On February 15, 2013, Lionsgate confirmed the script for part one was, was written by Strong, giving him permission to write part two. Later in August, Hemsworth confirmed that shooting of the film would begin in September 2013. The film's production began on September 16, 2013, in Boston, Atlanta, and Los Angeles. Studio Babelsberg co-produced and oversaw production services for the film. And now, on to the casting. On August 26, 2013, it was announced that Steph Dawson had joined the cast to portray Annie Cresta. 
Lionsgate announced on September 13, 2013, that Julianne Moore had joined the cast of both Mockingjay's parts to, to play President Alma Coin. Over the next month, Bettina Miller, Marcia Ali, Wes Chatham, and Eldon Henson joined the cast as Commander Paler Boggs, Castor, and Pollux, respectively. There was a call, casting call for extras on September 23rd. Robert Nepner was cast as Antonius, a character doesn't appear in the books and is in addition to the adaptation. Knepner has stated that during his audition, he knew that the lines he received were not what he would end up doing, adding that, quote, they, Lionsgate, are so secretive about this. Wyatt Russell was offered, was originally offered to roll in both parts of Mockingjay, but so rather Kurt confirmed in September 2013 that he had turned down the offer to star in 22 Jump Street. And now on to the filming. Shooting began on September 23rd, 2013 in Atlanta and concluded on June 20th, 2014 in Berlin. Part 1 was filmed back-to-back -back with Part 2. Mid-October, the cruisers spotted filming in Rock Mart. The cast and crew took a break to, to promote the Hunger Games Catching Fire. The film resumed on, on December 2nd, 2013. On December 14th, 2013, shooting took place at the Marriott Marquis in Atlanta, Georgia. On December 18th, Shooting began at the Caldwell Tanks in Noonan, Georgia. Philip Seymour Hoffman died on February 2, 2014. Landscape released a statement that Hoffman had, complete, had completed filming most of his scenes prior to his death. On April 18, 2014, producer Nina Jacobson announced that filming in Atlanta had just wrapped up, followed by director Francis Lawrence announcing the next day about moving production to Europe. It was announced that they would be filming battle scenes in Paris, and a Berlin Temploff Airport in Berlin. They began filming Streets of Paris and in the city of Avercer Seine, sorry if I mispronounced that, on May 7th, where Lawrence and Hemsworth were spotted during the filming of some scenes among extras. On May 9th, it was reported that filming was taking place in Noisy Le Grand Paris, where Lawrence, Hemsworth, Hutcherson, and Claflin were spotted on set which re on the set which recreated the world of Pan Am. Is the same location where Brazil was filmed in 1984. Hmm. And now onto the costumes. Christian Cordelia, Cordella, a costume monster in the first movie, returned to sketchy outfits for District 13. And now let's take a look at the music of this movie. The music was created to convey the dark feel of the film. On October 9th, 2014, it was revealed that the Trinity Schoolboys Choir recorded tracks for the score written by James Newton Howard. Jeff Lawrence performed the film's version of the song, The Hanging Tree, originally featured in the novel, but was not thrilled about having to sing and cry the day of the performance. As of the evening of November 25, 2014, the song was number four on Apple's iTunes Top 150 list. The Hanging Tree also peaked at number one in Austria and Hungary, and peaked at number 12 on, the, on Billboard Hot 100 in the U.S. Huh, interesting. <clears throat> and now finally, let's take a look at some political some political ramifications from this movie. On November 20th, 2014, some showings were reportedly canceled in Thailand because protesters were using the three-finger salute at demonstrations against the country's military government. On November 24th, 2014, it was reported that in retaliation to, to the Ferguson arrest regarding the shooting of Michael Brown, a protester scrawled graffiti reading, If we burn, you burn with us, on an arch in St. Louis, Missouri. On November 27, 2014, Hong Kong protesters used the three-finger salute while occupying Mong Kok. On September 11, 2015, some Catalan pro-independence protesters were using the three-finger salute at the freeway to the Catalan Republic against Spain's government. Oh, wee. So overall, I think this movie is actually kind of interesting, and yeah, it is a little bit darker as compared to... It's, it's, Definitely darker as compared to the first two movies, so yeah. So overall, I give The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 four Mockingjays out of five. Well, anyway, two no more as we take a look at the final entry in the series, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. So until then, remember everyone, may the odds be ever in your favor.